Hey everybody, welcome to No Bones About Wrestling. I'm your host Asa, and I'm here as always with Kay Fabulous. Hey! And uh, this is your WWE Payback Preview and Prediction Show. Yay! Hooray! Yay. Hooray! Hooray! And of course, the uh, No Bones About Wrestling Prediction Belt is on the line. That's true, my precious, my precious belt. Yeah, Kay, currently the champion, she uh, won the belt. What was the last pay per view? It was all in. I oh, won it A-W on Sunday. AW all in, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll see if I can make it a week holding it, or if I'm going to lose it before then. So yeah, whoever gets the most uh, most matches correct wins the belt, and if there's a tie, the champion retains the belt. Mm-hmm. Champion's at advantage, you know. Right. So uh, let's get it started here. Uh, I went with kind of the way I think the, the the card might be set up, but of course we don't know. Uh, there there are several matches I think could be the main event, but we'll talk about that a little later. Can I ask you a question before we get started? You yeah, sure? Do you think they're gonna add a match? Because right now there's only six matches on this card. Well, I think that. You could have a couple that go long here. Mm-hmm. And I think that could be maybe a little hint that the money in the bank might get cashed in, and then there's your seventh match. See, I thought money in the bank was going to cash in, be cashed in because I started with the main event, or what I think is going to be the main event, when I was plan- making my predictions. Mm-hmm. But then I got down to the bottom of the list of the matches I was reading, and the ju- Judgment Day has a match already. Yeah. So, I don't know if he would cash in. Guys can have two not, matches. I know, I know they're going to have two matches, but I'm saying he won't be fresh. The whole point of Money in the Bank is so that you can get your guy when he's all, like, beat up and about to die, and you're, like, fresh as a daisy. You know? So, yeah, of course, what Kay is referring to is Senor Money in the Bank is Damian Priest of the Judgment Day. And he and Finn Balor are getting a shot at the undisputed World Tag Team titles. So what they could do, it, now I don't think, I don't see this happening, but they could put the World Tag Team title uh, match on first. I was thinking that also, yeah. Now, if that if that's on first, that's a big fucking hint, though. Yeah. That's, an, that's almost a sign mm-hmm. saying we're cashing in the money in the bank tonight. Yeah. But if that match is on first or second, then that, that is almost a sign saying mm-hmm. Damian Priest is cashing it in. Yeah. Uh, so that could be a seventh match, Priest versus Rollins, or Priest versus Nakamura, or Priest could turn it into a three-way, Priest versus Rollins versus Nakamura, although why wouldn't he just wait to see who wins? Yeah. You know, and have them already gone through a match. It's stupid mm-hmm. to turn it into a three-way. That's real dumb. Uh, or what we could do, what we could see for a seventh match Cody Rhodes is on the Waller effect with, what's his name, Grayson Waller? Grayson Waller, Waller yeah. Grayson Waller. So we could see that turn into a match, you know? So that could be mm-hmm. match number seven also. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to see if Cody comes out in his Prince outfit. Yeah, or his suit. Mm-hmm. I, believe yeah. the, I believe the advertisements have him in his suit because he's going to be interviewed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I think, you know, we'll see things get physical, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if this is leading to a feud or just a one-off match or what it will be. Grayson Waller, I like him. Uh, he's lost, I believe, every match he's had yeah. since he's been uh, in in the, the big time, in, in WWE, since he came up from NXT. Uh, is so, the, the new Miz? Uh, kind, of, kind of. Kind of. Except this guy is more talented than the Miz, I feel. In the ring? Yeah. I don't know. No, I think he's got I think I like he has a lot Miz. of talent. I think he has a lot of talent. I like the Miz. Yeah. Well, speaking of the Miz, that's the match that I I had listed first. Uh the Miz versus LA Knight. And we saw uh the other night we saw the Miz come out and do a very funny uh for a change a very funny parody uh impression 
of L.A. Night. Spot on. Very yeah. funny. It was fantastic. Really taking a shot at L.A. Night's kind of blending of the rock and Stone Cold. Mm-hmm. Uh, which really is kind of his act. I mean, it's some of him and some of Stone Cold and some of the rock all put together. Uh but the Miz, you know, did that, so that's under L.A. Knight's skin. And another way he got under L.A. Knight's skin is he cost uh, Knight a U.S. title shot. There was a match. God, who was it? Theory. Yeah, L.A. Knight versus Austin Theory. And uh, the Miz interfered. And help Theory beat L.A. Knight. And uh, Theory is getting the, the rematch with Rey Mysterio on the card here. And so L.A. Knight didn't have a match because he lost that number one contender match. So he said, well, I'm pissed. I'm going to face The Miz. So that's where this match is coming from. So who do you uh, who do you have winning this one, Kay? The Miz L.A. Knight match? Yeah. Uh, I have L.A. Knight winning this. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah, The Miz. I can't do it. You do it. You do the yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, I can't, I can't do it. That was good. <laughs> uh, Austin Theory versus Austin Theory. Yeah. Yeah, The Miz never fucking wins. I'm picking I'm picking L.A. Knight, and he's getting a push here. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so L.A. Knight for both of us. And then who are you cheering for? L.A. Knight? I'm cheering for L.A. Knight. Yeah, me too. I like The Miz, though. And it's nothing against The Miz. But I'm no, just The Miz just is talented. He doesn't He doesn't get the credit he deserves. Yeah. And he's been that way his whole career. He's kind of been the, the whipping boy mm-hmm. in WWE. He kind of made fun of for this and that his whole career. Well, he's a two-time Grand Slam champion. So he's... He's gotten his flowers, too, you know? Yeah, but I'm just saying, he always gets shit on. Yeah. For for this or for that or for the other, and he's got a super hot wife, which he reminds us of pretty regularly, mm-hmm. and a nice house and a nice family, so good for him. Good for him, but he wants acceptance. You know, so he seems mm-hmm. to really want acceptance more than anything else yeah. of the WWE u- universe mm-hmm. because he is one of us. That's the thing of The Miz is he is one of us, and, and that's why his character feels so much like a throwback to the WWE Attitude Era of the mid-90s, mid, mid to late 90s, is because that's when he was a fan. So he presented what he would want to, mm-hmm. or, and still presents what he would want to see on TV. Mm-hmm. And L.A. Knight is kind of in the same boat. These guys are about the same age now. I be- believe Miz, well, how old is the Miz? That's a great question. Yeah, and, I have no idea. Yeah, and L.A. Knight. Let's, well, both of these guys, I believe, are in their, their mid to late 40s. Not not late 40s. Miz is 42. Mid, yeah, that's exactly what I would have said. It's 42. And I bet LA Knight is 42 also. So yeah, these guys are aging. 40. 40, okay. So these guys, uh, like I said, they're they're presenting... What did you say? He's a, he's a rough looking 40. LA Knight, he looks older than that. Oh. He looks like he's lived a life. Yeah. Well lived. Well, um, but yeah, these guys, like I said, they're presenting what they would want to see, and that's why they feel like throwbacks, is because they're presenting what, what they think an Attitude Era fan, them, they, would want to see. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's kind of cool to see them feud, because yeah. it feels like a throwback kind of feud. So I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it, because me, I'm an Attitude Era fan, too, I, you know. If you if you hear you know two or three seconds of silence on this show, that's usually because I'm throwing a, a crotch chop at Kay over something, you know, <laughs> uh, th- throwing her a suck it sign. That's true. Uh, that is true. Yeah, <laughs> and she just has to take it, and then what is she gonna say? You know, I'll just deny it. <laughs> uh, up next. <laughs> 
We have a uh, United States Championship match. Rey Mysterio, the giant killer, the legend, the living god of pro wrestling, defends against Austin Theory, the former U.S. champion. Okay, what do you think about this one? What do you feel about this? I am for and also think Mysterio will win. I don't think Theory's getting his belt back. Yeah, what do you feel about the matchup? What do you what do you hit? I <clears throat> have like no thoughts on Austin Theory because I don't give a crap about him. Yeah. Well that that in itself is a thought, isn't it? Yeah. Well it's it's no, because I until someone says his name he has occupied zero space in my brain. I agree. I feel like, the I forget same he, way. I forget he exists. I feel the exact same way. I don't yeah. hate him. I don't love him. Yeah. And I forget he exists yeah. until someone says something. Yeah. Like when I was writing out the card, I was like, oh yeah, Austin Theory has a match. And then I had to try and remember why he had a match. Right. Because <laughs> he was like the most forgettable U.S. champion yeah. of all time. Yes, I agree. I agree. So I think Rey Mysterio is going to win this because, one, he just got the belt. Mm -hmm. And two, he has personality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they need to give Rey a run with this belt, and and that will be infinitely more interesting than, you know, be infinitely more interesting seeing old man Rey Mysterio uh, go around with the number two belt on SmackDown uh, than, than it would be to... To see Austin Theory with the belt again. Plus, and, I, I want Dominic Mysterio to be able to continue to say, "Well, you're only the U.S. champion. I'm the U.S. I'm the champion of all of North America." Right. You know, I yeah. like him having that like one up on him. And speaking of of SmackDown, as I was, this is the only SmackDown match on this card. Yes, it is. So you've got the Rey Mysterio versus Austin Theory for the U.S. title, and then you've got. You've got Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, who, as the undisputed tag team champions, can go on either show. L.A. Knight's on SmackDown, isn't he? No, he's on Raw. But he was in contention for Austin Theory's belt. Oh, wait. Can L.A. Knight go on either show? No, L.A. Knight's on SmackDown. He came but on the Raw. Miz is on Raw, though. I know. The Miz has been, I think, switching back and forth. Mm. And so L.A. Knight came... I think L.A. Knight's been switching back and forth. Oh, okay. Well, one of them's been switched out. Is there even a back and forth to switch from? Yeah, the draft still matters for most of the... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at least 80% of the people are still going by the draft. Yeah. 85%. Yeah. So the draft still matters. Yeah. Hmm. May even even be higher than that. 85%. Because if you look at it, Miz, L.A. Knight, maybe. Mysterio Theory, yes. Trish, Becky, yes. Rhea, Ra- Ra- Raquel, yes. Owen, Sammy, yes, because they can go on either show. Balor, Priest, no, because they're the Judgment Day. Rollins, Nakamura, yes, yes. So, like I said, for that's over that's over over ninety percent. Gotta be. What were you saying yes or no to? I don't, I don't... Does the draft, does their draft status still fit? Oh, I see. Okay. Whether they're on the, the correct show or not. Okay, okay, gotcha. And it does for for most everyone. Mm-hmm. Uh, I forgot what match are we on. Rey Mysterio, Austin Theory. Uh, <laughs> see, he's forgettable. He's forgettable, yeah. Um, and I, there's potential in him. He has a, a, a good a good look. And I I see potential in him. There, you know, he has personality. He has some acting ability, and because I, I I I enjoyed the character when he was with Mister McMahon, and who was building him up, and he did the the thing where he took the selfies with his fallen opponents. That was great. Um. So he has personality, and that can go a long way for you in in this business. Uh, he just hasn't been exercising it, and his matches are totally forgettable. So he's got to get something going, or he's going to sink to the bottom and, and become the next Dolph Ziggler, uh, who doesn't deserve his treatment, but I don't want to get started on that. Um, but yeah, in this one, I predict Rey Mysterio 
to uh, keep his belt, and I'm also cheering for Rey Mysterio. Yeah. So Who, I, let me I, ask you no, something. I can't get past this. You're comparing Austin Theory to Dolph Ziggler. No, I'm just saying if he doesn't get something going for himself, he's going to become the next Dolph Ziggler, someone with talent who is constantly being beaten at the bottom of the card. Yeah, I love Dolph Ziggler. That's Dolph Ziggler, someone who is talented, who is just constantly trotted out to be beaten. I know, it's so sad. It's and so Dolph good. Z- yeah, Do- former fucking world champion. I've never yeah. seen a, a world champion uh, ra- rarely get treated so poorly <laughs> yeah. in the later stages of his career. But he seems to be happy. Yeah. Doing a stand-up comedian thing and... What? He's a stand-up comedian. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah. How about that? I think he's focused on that more than WWE now, now uh, nowadays. Hmm. We should watch him. Check him out see if he's any good. Okay. But no, I believe that's, that's what he spends most of his time with nowadays. I could be wrong, but... Last I heard, he was doing stand-up comedy, yes. It's weird, because his wrestling character has never really been, like, funny. Well, right, yeah. Yeah. Funny so it's, funny doesn't all... It, usually, it's not what you don't want to go for in wrestling. Yeah, yeah. You know, funny... There's always... There's some phrase, you know, funny doesn't equal money, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, because, yeah, it usually doesn't... Usually does not. Orange Cassidy being the exception. Make the exception that proves the rule, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Well, things are changing in the business. Mm-hmm. Things are changing. What's up so next? So let me ask you oh, one question, mm-hmm. though. Uh, Austin Theory, forgettable. So say he doesn't deserve the, the U.S. title shot. Who should get it? L.A. Knight should have gotten it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, let's head next uh, match I put right in the middle of the card. Uh, steel cage match. Uh, looking like probably the blow-off match for this feud. Please, for the love of God, let it be the blow-off match for this feud. <laughs> uh, Trish Stratus, accompanied by Zoe Stark. Uh, I assume she'll be accompanied by Zoe Stark. Taking on Becky Lynch. Uh, so this one they put in this steel cage to keep Zoe Stark out. Of course, very often steel cages uh, end up with uh, people, you know, the very people that they're designed to, to keep out end up with them in the cage. So I see that happening with Zoe Stark. Um Almost certainly, this match will involve outside interference. The The real question is, will Becky have some outside interference on her side to rival Zoe Stark? And it, and if so, whom? I think she will. I think it's going to be Lita coming back. Lita? Oh. Yeah, because she disappeared like like two months ago. So she'll... she'll it could, I think she'll yeah, take care of the Zoe that's problem. That's a good call. That's a good call, maybe. Because someone will, Trish and Zoe will be double teaming Becky, yeah, mm-hmm. in the ring, in the, in the cage. She'll get in there and lock it back somehow, for sure. Mm-hmm. And who will come and save her? Lita, you're saying? I'm saying Lita. Okay. Becky doesn't really have any friends. No, she doesn't. Well, she stands on her own and talks about how she's tougher than every woman there mm-hmm. and, and leads it's you to insulting. have no friends. Yeah. And what? I said, yeah, it's insulting. Yeah, it is, it is insulting. That's why she has no friends there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, who are you predicting in this one, Kay? So, I have Becky winning this. Um, okay. Yeah. And you think it's the end of the feud? I think and I hope beyond hope it is the end of the feud. Yeah. This has dragged on far longer than any of us could have foreseen. Yeah. And that is not, uh, not, a, not a good thing. Um... Yeah, I'm just ready to be done. Done with it. Let Zoe have stand on her own two heel feet, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like Zoe. I like Zoe, too. I like, Zoe. I like her. She uh, got hit. Uh, 
Trish threw, what was it, a chair? Right at her eye the other night. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, she got hit right in the eye, and she p- p- tried to, like, play it off, you know? But uh, it was an accident, and she got hit right in the fucking eye by a chair. I believe it, oh. I believe it was a chair she was thrown at her. I don't think it would, would have been something else. But yeah, okay? right, right in the eye. I, be, I believe so. I believe so. I did not look uh, look it up to see if she was okay. Mm-hmm. You should look it up, though. Okay. Um, but yeah, what was what match was that? The Trish? Maybe, maybe it was just a, a segment and it was not a match. But Trish and Zoe were out there doing something. And Trish was, was throwing chairs into the ring and she... She went before she looked. She threw, which is what what you don't do. You know, if you're throwing shit around, look before you throw it. Safety first. And Trish did not. She threw before she looked, and she threw it right in Zoe's eye. Oh, was that in the Falls Town Anywhere match that happened on Monday? I believe so, yes. Yeah, yeah. Very dangerous. Well, nothing is saying... She's injured. Everything is saying, man, did you see that chair shot? Yeah. So, I think she's okay. Yeah, you should look it up. I am looking it up. Oh, okay. That's what I'm telling you. When I look it up, it doesn't say anything about an injury, so I don't think there's an injury. Yeah, I think we'll, we're, we're going to see Trish and Zoe beat the shit out of Becky, I think, for, for a couple minutes, you know, and, and then, you know, the announcers... You know, be like, who? And just begging for, for someone to come and help Becky Lynch. And who is it? And you're saying Lita. That's a good call, I think. Thank you. Do we know? Is she well? Well, she had a fake injury, so I think oh, it was she... a fake injury. Yeah, remember? I don't remember, obviously. Oh, no. yeah, no. Trish Stratus and I think maybe Zoe was with her. No, no, no. She got attacked. Remember that she had the belt. Lita had the belt with Becky. And then they, they got attacked, so Trish Trish didn't attack her. Uh, or She was attacked off camera, but it, it was Trish who secretly attacked her, rather. Mm-hmm. But Trish took her spot and then turned on Becky, you know, mm-hmm. how that all started. So Trish was the one who injured her in the first place yeah. in a off-camera back screen, uh, backstage fight, rather. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think, I think she's the only person that makes sense. Anyone else that comes out, I think it's going to be like, why is this person running in to save Becky? Yeah. Hmm. But as far as I know, it was a fake injury. She didn't. I didn't read any reports of her being actually injured. I think it was to do this whole Trish Becky feud, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, that would be cool. That would be cool. Uh, up next, we get to some of the. We get to the big three. You know, WWE, they'll have six matches on the card. They'll probably say this second half of the pay-per-view are all the main events. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got the WWE Women's World Championship match. Yeah. Which, if you ask me, I would almost I would almost put this on last. Why not? Uh, They're not going to. No, 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 no. They should, but they're not going to. I don't know if they should. I don't know if they should. I would would put Rollins Rollins and Shinsuke on last because you're still trying to establish that belt as being a real world title, you know? Correct. So I would put that on last. I think you've got a very good point there. Very good point. I would put Ripley and Rodriguez second to last. Yeah, me too. And put Rollins and Nakamura last. Mm-hmm. And put the tag team third from last. Yeah. Or first. If you, well, no, I wouldn't want to give a signal like that. I'd put it right in the middle. I'd put it first and then not have him do a run-in. That's with the, the thing, just to mess with everyone. That's good. No, that's good. All right, well, so, all right. <laughs> uh, third from last, the WWE Women's World Championship match. We have the champion Rhea Ripley of the Judgment Day, of course, accompanied by North American champion, NXT North American champion, excuse me, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. And she is defending against Raquel Rodriguez. She's got a back. Mm-hmm. K 
okay, who are you going for? Who do you want to win? And this one is all, I'll tell you real quick, just, uh, I'm sorry, I'm intending to cut you off. This is all because Rhea Ripley injured uh, Raquel Rodriguez's knee. Mm -hmm. So, I have Rhea Ripley winning this, and I am for Rhea Ripley winning this, and Rhea Ripley better win this, or I'm going to be pissed off. She is my girl. She is a beast. I do not see someone on the roster that could stand up to her in a fight. Raquel might be the closest they can you mean come. A, oh, you mean a woman? I mean a woman. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure. No, I mean a woman. Um, because right now that I mean she's only wrestling women. Okay, uh, you said someone on the roster. I just yeah, want to make sure you meant women. Yes, someone on the women's roster. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't remember what I was saying. So, what about you? What do you got? Well, this one. Um, so yeah, Ripley, uh, just to go through kind of what happened to, to make this a match, Ripley injured Rodriguez's knee, uh, Ripley attacked Liv Morgan, uh, Ripley injured Rodriguez again, R Rodriguez, when cleared, attacked Ripley and announced that she wanted a match with Rhea Ripley, and that's where, where we got this from. It's also worth noting that Liv Morgan, when Rhea Ripley attacked her, also got injured. She's out right now. Correct. With injury. Yeah. So a lot of injuries, a lot of uh, animosity. Um, we've got two of the, the larger women in the division. Uh, I'm excited to see this matchup. I hope that they have worked on this match long enough uh, that it doesn't look robotic because I think that, that it easily could. I hope we see some good grappling, some, you know, a little, you know, a little wrestling, a little chain wrestling in there, um, and some grappling and some power moves from the two ladies. I think that'll, that'll be very cool to see. I hope that's the way they go with it. Um, We'll see how they go with it. I think it's an, an intriguing matchup. Um, but I, I'm going for... I am predicting Rhea Ripley to win and to keep her Women's World Championship. And people have been uh, complaining that her reign has been weak and her reign has not been fulfilling. And hopefully this is a good match and can... Uh, some of those people can get off her back about it. I don't think it's her fault at all. I think that no, it's been no. really weak booking. Yeah, it's not her, her fault. Yeah. No, no. All right, up next, the undisputed WWE World Tag Team Championship match. And this is one that they could put on as the, as the main event. I don't know. I could see it as the main event. And this is one they could put on as the first match of the night, also. The, this match could go anywhere on the card for a number of reasons, as we've outlined. And the play, um, where it goes on the card could signal a couple different things as well. I don't think it's going on last. I'm just, just saying it could. I'm just yeah. saying it could. Oh, you gotta remember Owens and Zayn, they main evented night one of WrestleMania this year, you know? I know. So. It's not out of their realm to, to main event a pay-per-view. Uh, but you got Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Uh, Zayn back from a minor elbow injury. Kevin Owens back from a rib injury. They both got injured. Thankfully did not have to give up the tag team titles. Didn't have to vacate them. And they're defending against uh, half of the Judgment Day. Finn Balor and Damian Priest, Mr. Money in the Bank, uh, two guys who have not been getting along lately. Uh, and, you know, that's been the, the big driving story in WWE lately. Can they coexist? Can they get along? The Bloodline, can they get along? The Judgment Day, can they get along? 
can they can they get along throughout this match? You know, everybody. And people seem to be digging it because it's working with the Judgment Day. And I tell you, honestly, I'm more interested in uh, what the, how the Judgment Day story is progressing with J.D. McDonough than I am in the Bloodline story. Yeah. What I, do you think? Oh, absolutely. Like, I'm I'm done with the Bloodline. Yeah, at this I, have, point. Yeah, I, I have no, nothing, I have no, I have interest, no interest left. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But I do have to say they need to start Leve- oh, changing up the Judgment Day story. Because they've been doing the same thing week after week for several weeks now, yes, and that's yeah. getting old. I agree on both of those. Yeah, you're dead on. And, and hopefully they will do something different here. But yeah, yeah you're dead on. They, they've they been doing a little too samey. Mm-hmm. We need to have something happen. Yeah, like I feel like when I saw that this match was on the card, I was like, didn't we just see this match the last like three weeks on SmackDown? Or on <laughs> Raw, rather, you know, like... Isn't this going to be, like, the fourth time we've seen this this yeah. month? Yeah, some people have said this pay-per-view feels like a super edition of Raw. Yeah. <laughs> so, who do you, uh... So, those are the big things we have. Uh, you know, we got the trouble brewing in the Judgment Day with Senor Money in the Bank. And Finn Balor has been pushing for J.D. McDonough to join Judgment Day. Uh... Damian Priest doesn't seem so sure about it. And the way it seems is that Senor Money in the Bank is going to end up leaving the group, turning face, and J.D. McDonough is going to slither his way in there. That's the way I think things are going to go. But at this point, it seems too obvious. Yeah. It seems too obvious, but that's the way it looks like things. That's the way Mm -hmm. they're they're telling us things are going to go. Yeah. So hopefully they they don't really go that way because it's been telegraphed for too long, mm-hmm. but but right like Kay said something needs to happen at this show with the Judgment Day. Yeah, something needs to happen. They can't just keep teasing the same thing every show. Something has to happen. So Kay, did you give you who do you uh, who do you predict uh, and who do you want? I want the Judgment Day to win. I predict. Cammy, Cammy. I predict Ko and Sammy to win. They shall now be known as Cammy. Cammy. Yeah. Cammy and Zoen. Cammy Zoens. Yeah. Cammy and Zoens. Uh, I predict Cammy and Zoens, and uh, and seven Cam Cammy Zoens and seven. What? Zwins. Zwins. What are you Zwins? doing? Zwins. I'm combining both names. Okay, let's move on from that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so. so I'm predicting Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn <laughs> to retain their tag team titles. They've had a good run. They've, they're a good tag team. Let's keep it up. Let's see some more uh, matchups with them. They're, they're, a, they're a good team. Working well together and getting better and better as a team. I've, I've enjoyed watching them work. Um, this should be a, a good match. Give them some time. Let them work. And that's all we need to worry about. And let's see something happen with the Judgment Day, which I think it will. I think they're going to do something at the pay-per-view here with McDonough. So who are uh, you for? I'm for Balor and Priest. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm always for the Judgment Day. I love the Judgment Day. I do they're, they're one of my favorite parts of WWE right now, for sure. They're all goth and with the black and purple and Dominic and my boy Finn Balor, shit. And with the spooky kind of, you know, they're, they're almost like, you know, into into the dark side and everything. <laughs> and they're, they're all goth and wearing black and hanging out and smoking clove cigarettes behind the school <laughs> and all that shit, you know? Mm-hmm. I like their song. And I like their song, yeah. But... I'm for Balor and Priest making up, getting along, winning the tag belts, and then Damien having a tag belt and the money in the bank to carry it around. And then Phil, uh, Balor with the tag belt to carry around. And then Dominic with the North American title to, to carry around. And then Rhea Ripley with the Women's World Championship to carry around. That'd be a pretty sweet sight. Uh... And keep it rolling with the Judgment Day winning winning some belts and uh, 
making people uh, making people pissed off on, over on Raw. That's what I would like to see. Can I tell you what I'd like to see? Sure. So I would like after this match for Cammy, Cammy, gosh, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy and KO to start having a feud. You're gonna hate this. But with the Street Profits. Oh, I hate it. Yeah. No, I think that Ugh. with the Street Profits' new look and their new heelishness, they need Sammy to come and KO to come over there so KO can make fun of them and their new outfits. Um, I'd like to see the Street Profits have a feud with a fucking steamroller. No. Yes, I would. Um, anyway, so after that, I want, I want the Judgment Day to come back into it, but I want Dom and Rhea to challenge them for it. So I want the Street Profits to challenge them for it and to lose, you know. But then I want Rhea and Dom to challenge them for it and win. But I just don't think you can do that back-to-back right after the Finn Priest thing. They need a break from Judgment Day, Sammy and KO. I'm for right Dom time? and Rhea, but I'm not for the Street Profits. They gotta do something with them. Here's Montez I, is good, and they're wasting him. Here's what I am for, is sending them an envelope with an invitation with a certain day and a certain time and a certain location so it piques their entrance interest so they show up and then just wrecking balls come in from all four sides of the building that's what i am for all right anyway <laughs> what's up next on the card you psycho no, I, i'm not a fan of the uh, the uh street profits if you if you can't tell uh, up next is uh, our uh, what what will probably be what should be the main event, the WWE World Title Match, with the champion Seth Rollins defending against Shinsuke Nakamura, and in this one Shinsuke is after is after poor Seth's back. Okay, what do you what do you see going down here? It's been a pretty intriguing feud. Yeah, no, it's been it's been awesome. Yeah, I it's been good. have loved these video packages they've been doing of Shinsuke, where he's speaking in Japanese and they're subtitling it. I am a huge fan of mm-hmm. that. Um, so I am for Shinsuke in this, uh, but I have Seth Rollins winning. Man, as someone who has been through back trouble, I can't cheer for Shinsuke, and like. I I I just can't. Mm-hmm. And usually I would be for him over Rollins. But it's the back angle that's the back you. thing. Yeah, I yeah. can't. He's trying to tear Rollins back apart. And I just I cannot in good conscience cheer mm-hmm. for him cuz I know what it's like to have back problems and it's terrible. Mm-hmm. Uh and uh no, so I, I got to go for Rollins in this one. I'm cheering for Rollins. All right. and, and I predict Rollins to keep his belt. I think they're they're going to keep it on him for a bit longer and they're, you know, they're trying to legitimize this and make it make it a title that uh is seen in the same light as the uh, WWE uh championship and the uh WWE Universal Championship. So I think they're going to keep it on Seth for a bit longer. I can't say for sure how long, but uh, it's a bit longer for sure. Can you imagine being in that meeting where someone first suggests making another belt? Like, you have these two, like, sort of historic belts, you know? We got one historic belt. We got one historic belt. But you've unified them, sort of, you know, with Roman. Roman Hulot having both of them. You haven't unified them yet. But he's got these two belts. And instead of deciding to take one off of him, you suggest to, to the room that, why don't we just make another belt? It's such a ballsy move. I'm sure the first suggestion was, why don't we just take one off of him? Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But then you say, no, we shouldn't do that. We should let him keep both. Right. And just make another one for everyone else. Like, what a weird decision. I get it though. I get it. Oh, okay. And it's and it's and it's working. Mm-hmm. It's working. I think so. Uh, well, it's because Roma's not there. No, it's because Seth is so good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, let's be honest. It's working because Seth is so good, and he's been been defending it. He's been a fighting mm-hmm. champion yeah. and been having good opponents. 
and good matches, and he ha has been the one to make it valuable, and he deserves a lot of credit. Yeah, but so now with Roman's two belts that are now one belt, does it say one belt forever and you unify their histories? Or, like, what do you do with that? I don't know what we're, what they're going to do with that. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, what should they do? At some point, they should separate them and retire the universal title or... or or unify the, I don't know, I don't know, mm -hmm. or or just leave them as one. I guess just you don't have to get rid of the universal. Just at this point, just leave them as one, I and then and then whoever going, yeah. wins it has that yeah that that that, that unified yellow. championship, mm -hmm. and it forever is known as the the belt that Roman unified and then that's mm -hmm. that's just another part of Roman's legacy leg yeah, exactly yeah. yeah yeah so just keep them keep them unified I'd like to point out that nowhere on my paper where I wrote the card does it say the name Roman Reigns yeah so Roman's not going to be on this pay-per-view vacation Reigns yeah no no bloodline no solo yeah no Jimmy, no Jay, no Roman what's up with that like why I thought they were going to maybe do Jay versus Jay here I mean, Jay versus Jimmy, but... Uh, Jay versus Jay would be an interesting one. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like in the shadow realm uh, of the AEW game when you have to wrestle your demons mm. and you wrestle the shadow version of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Jay has some. Yeah. That's for sure. We all do. We all do, fair. yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to be mean. No, mm -hmm. We all do. But we know Jay does. Yeah. yeah. It would be an interesting one. So which match is the one that you are looking the most uh, forward to? Uh, are you looking forward to this pay-per-view, first of all? I am looking forward to it. Not as much as I usually look forward to WWE pay-per-views. Mm -hmm. Just because it, it does just seem like... It seems like a really good episode of Raw. Yeah. Um, so. uh, but I, I think... Well, I think the best match is going to be Owens and Zayn versus Balor and Priest. But I think the match I'm most kind of looking forward to is Ripley versus Rodriguez because I'm really cheering for them to put on a good match. Yeah. I really want to see those two put on a good match. And I know Owens and Zayn and Balor and Priest will put on a good match. I know they will. I know what I'm going to get there, I think. Uh, it's just a question of how they're going to do it and how good it will be. Ripley and Rodriguez, I'm not sure what they're going to do. So I'm kind of, kind of nervous for them. Uh... And uh, I'm looking forward to it. And as I said, I kind of considered, you know, the, the, it wasn't clear what the main event was, except, well, Rollins and Nakamura, it's kind of clear. But you, you got a women's world title match, too. So Ripley and Rodriguez, do you, you know, do you consider that as a, as a main event? And the the answer will be in their performance. So I'm mm -hmm. I'm very interested to see what those two are going to do. What that's about good. you? I mean, that's the match to which I'm most looking forward to also. Yeah. Um, yeah huh. uh, for very much the same reason. Like, I think it can be a really stellar match. I hope they give a good time. Yeah, yeah. I hope both women are, I hope both women are healthy. And then I think, I think it can be good. I think Rhea is one of those people that helps elevate their opponent. Yeah, and, Rhea, she's great at it. And, yes, uh, yeah. and Raquel's already good. So, um, I mean, she's not like Rhea Ripley level good, but she's she's, she's good. good. And so she's, I feel like she's talented, I can't so. wait to see her shine in this match, you know. I think it's, it's going to be a good one. I think so, too. Yeah, I hope so. All right, well... Anything else you want to say? Any any other predictions about WWE payback? Any other comments or anything? 
I think the best match is probably going to be Rollins versus Shinsuke instead of the tag match. Because I think the tag match is going to have some kind of bullshit mixed in with it, you know? Yeah. And I think that that will detract from it in my eyes. See, I'm looking forward to the bullshit. Yeah. I think it will add to it in my Mm -hmm. eyes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I'm looking forward to the extracurriculars. Yeah. Well, that was all I wanted to add. I see. So, yeah. when can they hear from us again? Um, you can next hear from us uh, tomorrow, which is... Which is Friday. S- Friday. <laughs> September 1st for the All Out Predictions and Preview Show. Yes, for the AEW All Out Prediction and Preview Show. And then Saturday... We will be on uh, Last Week in Wrestling's YouTube uh, channel uh, for the WWE Payback Watch Along. That's uh, Last Week in Wrestling on YouTube, uh, uh, 7.45 p.m. Uh, So we'll be on there early. Uh, Get there at 7.45. We'll talk uh, talk about the, the show before it starts. Uh, talk everybody talk about what they look forward to. It's a good group of guys and K, um, mm. knowledgeable people, funny people. It's it's a fun time and get on there, get in the chat, and we will answer you and talk to you and stuff. Um, and I think this week WWE Weekly is going to come out on Sunday afternoon instead of on Saturday because of payback. Yeah. Um, and you're right, so WWE, WWE Weekly coming out on Sunday, and then also on Sunday, we have AEW All Out, we're doing a watch along, and same channel, Last Week in Wrestling on YouTube, same time, 7.45, so a lot going on this weekend, a lot of wrestling, and hopefully it's enjoyable. Do you want to talk to them about Halloween Havoc? Oh, yes, I do. Uh, Halloween Havoc, uh, I know I've been, I've been, uh, you know, uh, hyping this Halloween Havoc. We're doing a watch-along of Halloween Havoc 1994. Uh, we've had to move the time, so I'm sorry, but we're, we're moving the time. It was going to be this Monday, but we're moving it to September 9th at 4 o'clock p.m., at 4.30. Is that right? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. September 9th at 4.30 p.m. Oh, then you are right. 4.30 p.m. September 9th at 4.30 p.m. So we're going to, uh, if you haven't heard yet, what we're doing is get there at 4.30 and then at, at about 4.35 or so, uh, we're all on our on our Peacock accounts, or if you have a copy of Halloween Havoc 94, uh, you can press play, and so we'll all be together. We're not going to pause or press stop or anything like that. We're just going to let it play, and uh, it'll be Kay and myself and Dylan from Last Week in Wrestling and probably some other guests. Uh, I think are coming by. I think Willie from Willie Does Wrestling. Uh, I think Wolf will be there. I hope so. Uh, so we're going to have some other folks coming by too. And uh, we'll be talking about it. We'll be making fun of it a little. Because it is mid-90s WCW. The main event is Hulk Hogan versus Ric Flair in a steel cage match where the loser must retire. So if that ain't a main event, I don't know what the fuck is. So that's a pretty good one. Um, But yeah, Halloween Havoc 94. I I love Halloween Havoc. It's one of my favorite pay-per-views. If if it weren't for WrestleMania and Starcade being the biggest shows of the year, Halloween Havoc would be my favorite pay-per-view for sure. Uh, It's my favorite theme on a pay-per-view. And man, they usually delivered like WCW. Some some years their Halloween Havocs were better than Starcade, uh, like accidentally I think, <laughs> but they were better than Starcade. Um, so if you want to make sure that you don't miss any live events or any podcast episode releases, 
make sure you subscribe anywhere you listen to podcasts and also on YouTube because we will be live streaming on YouTube. Right. Um, yes. And that's uh, just at No Bones Wrestling um, is the YouTube channel, No Bones Wrestling. At No Bones About Wrestling. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Yes. No Bones uh, About Wrestling. Um, and as Mick Foley would say. Have a nice day. Bye. Halloween Havoc 94, September 9th, 4.30 p.m. Woo! Woo! Bye.